दिस इज नोमरिकल नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ एफ एस सी फिजिक्स एंड द चैप्टर इज मोशन एंड फोर्स वी विल सॉल्व दिस नोमरिकल बाय यूजिंग द सिंपलेस्ट पॉसिबल मैथड द नोमरिकल इज अ हेलीकॉप्टर इज असेंडिंग वर्टिकली एट ए स्पीड ऑफ नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड Uh, this is the helicopter this is the ground and this helicopter is ascending vertically upward with a velocity of 19.6 meter per second a stone is dropped when the helicopter is at a height of 156.8 meter when the helicopter is at a height of 156.8 meter a stone is dropped from the helicopter How long does the stone take to reach the ground? So we will determine the time taken by this stone to reach the ground when it is dropped from the helicopter when the helicopter was at a height of 156.8 meter. The given data from the numerical is that the initial velocity is equal to or uh, minus 19.6 meter per second why i have taken this uh, initial velocity as negative uh, this is because that the acceleration which is the gravitational acceleration acting on the stone is downward and the velocity which is the velocity of the stone the initial velocity of the stone is equal to the initial velocity of the helicopter so the helicopter is going upward then there is a, a difference of direction between the acceleration and the initial velocity the initial velocity vi and the acceleration have different directions if you take the acceleration positive then you will have to take the initial velocity negative if you take the initial velocity positive then you will have to take the acceleration negative Uh, so i have taken the acceleration which is 9.8 meter per second under the gravitational force this stone is uh, going down downward so this acceleration i have taken is a uh, positive which is 9.8 meter per second square so we have to take the velocity negative uh, the height of the distance which the stone will travel is uh the height of the stone from the ground when it is dropped from the helicopter is 156.8 meter and we are going to determine the time taken by the stone to reach the ground so for the solution of this numerical we will use a uh, second equation of motion the second equation of motion we know is s is equal to vit plus 1 over 2 at square and we will determine the value of this t in the given data we have the initial velocity we have the height which is the distance 156.8 meter and the gravitational acceleration as 9.8 meter per second square we will substitute the values for displacement which is 156.8 meter value of initial velocity is minus 19.6 meter per second and this is multiply by t plus 1 over 2 and 9.8 uh, meter per second square is the value of the acceleration multiply by time time square now we will solve this equation for the uh, time to derive uh, the time taken by the stone to reach the ground first we will simplify this equation we will divide this 9.8 by 2 and we will have 4.9 t square so we have 156.8 is equal to minus 19.60 plus 4.9 t square now we will divide uh, this whole equation by 4.9 dividing this whole equation by 4.9 we will have 56.8 divided by 4.9 minus 19.60 divided by 4.9 and plus 4.9 divided by 4.9 this 4.9 will cancel with this 4.9 and we will have a uh, 32 is equal to minus 4t plus t square now just rearranging this equation we will have a uh, t square minus 40 and shifting this 32 to this side we will have t square minus 40 minus 32 is equal to 0 now this is a second degree quadratic equation we will solve this equation for the value of t 
Now there are two methods to solve this equation. The first method is by factorization which we have used for the solution of this equation and the second method is by solving this equation by uh, using the quadratic formula which is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. But we will use the factorization method. Uh, the factorization method is very simple. We just have to rewrite this minus 40 as minus 80 plus 40 because this minus 80 plus 40 again is equal to minus 40 so this will have no effect on the equation we just need to factorize this equation now taking common t from this side of the equation and 4 from this side of the equation we will have t into t minus 8 plus 4 into t minus 8 Taking this 4 common from 32, we will have 8 because 8 4 are 32, so we have 4 into t minus 8. Now, in this equation, uh, we can take the t minus 8 common from this whole equation. Taking t minus 8 common from this equation, we will have t minus 8 into t plus 4. t plus 4 into t minus 8 is equal to 0. Now solving this equation for the value of t we will have t plus 4 is equal to 0 from which we will get the value of time t is equal to minus 4 second and the second value is t minus 8 is equal to 0 so we have t is equal to plus 8. Now between these two values one is minus 4 and the second value is plus 8 we will have to choose this wisely because uh, the time can uh, never be negative and the time is always taken as positive. So the time is always taken as positive. We will have to take this positive value of time which is plus 8 seconds. So the time taken uh, by the stone to reach the ground when it was dropped from the helicopter will be 8 seconds and this is the answer. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.